Welcome back to my video guys and today we have the first sneak peek of the new update uh, 3.14 it's coming out uh, very soon and wow 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 we have a lot of cool stuff to talk about in this update it's not the biggest update ever but there is a lot of cool new content requested as well uh, and I'm really really excited for this first of all we have a brand new loading screen. I'm glad that NG has finally realized that uh, Christmas is over and has been over for the last two months and they've actually now <laughs> removing the Christmas theme and moving on to what you're gonna call Season 10C missions because as we know The Walking Dead is coming back on the 28th of February and we have six new episodes coming up every uh, well, Sunday in America, Monday, uh, including the missions in the game and in Europe. Uh, and we have six new missions coming up starting on the 1st of March for the whole of March and uh, the beginning of April. And they are really cool missions. Uh, we have, obviously, we have some of the episodes covering what Negan stories and we have, um, you know, um, uh, Carol and Darrow. Uh, so we're interested to see which characters we're going to be playing with. I'm going to be covering all these missions every Monday. We have special rewards when you complete the trials and the missions within the first week of release and uh, really cool stuff really excited the loading screen really shows that especially that here is an Egan episode really looking forward to that um right now with this i did not expect this guys i did not expect this we have a brand new hero coming up with this update uh, probably because of 10C, I mean she only appears only appears in like one episode in season 10C called Splinter We have the arrival of If I wanted to attack, I'd hold the gun like this With the dangerous part pointed at you, see? That's for attacking The other way? That's for hello Princess! You know, the Walking Dead No Man's Land so excited um, I did not expect Princess to come out in this update I expected her to come out in season 11 uh, but she only appears in one episode Splinter so maybe we're gonna have her as a playable character in one of the seasonal missions on the fourth mission or something uh, but Princess is here oh! um, alright uh, she's a new assault rifle class and she's gonna deal damage and wreak havoc on enemies that are weakened and distracted she has uh, so just the normal uh, well actually don't talk about traits yet Look at this design guys, I love this design, look at it's on point, the pinky, the pinky, um, what do you call it, the jacket, like a vest, I don't know, but uh, the pinky, it really like stands out, the pink color, and this is why guys, every single video in this update that I'm making is gonna have a pink acid to it, whether it's gonna be text, whether it's gonna be in the thumbnails, we're gonna have text, pink everywhere, something pink in every video to put some respect on uh, on uh, Princess, alright, maybe purple as well because her hair is kind of like purplish, uh, but yeah, look at this really on point design, I really like that, and um, talking about her traits, she comes with Marksman, Iron Skin, Retaliate and Dodge, uh, these you can reroll as well using reroll tokens if you do not like them, but her uh, leader trait is something really interesting, especially for high-end gameplay. It's called Royal Rampage, and what it does is basically it's like a different Sasha. So uh, this one, uh, Princess, when it attacks, uh, they are going to basically inflict extra damage to uh, enemies who have a status effect. So for instance, uh, Burn, uh, you know, Root. Uh, stun. There is also a new status effect coming up with this update, but we're gonna talk about it tomorrow. Uh, and uh, these basically, if you attack walkers which are have these status effects, they're gonna receive extra damage towards them, and you're also gonna have a chance to regain a charge point. And as a leader, this affects your whole team. And you know, as I said, it's similar to Sasha because Sasha also gives you a chance to get charge points, but it's on uh, 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 body shot attacks. And uh, this one is basically uh, on any walker that has a status effect, plus it deals bonus damage as well. So maybe it's a little bit better because it's also an assault, so it covers a lot more walkers. Um, but we will see how this one plays out. Watch how helpful I can be. No, wait, please! Um, 
G uh, is gonna have the black market as well but the black market is gonna be unlocked after the seasonal campaign finishes because she's gonna be unlocked through a special season campaign coming up or the new season campaign coming up we're gonna talk about it tomorrow in the next video uh, and uh, she's gonna be unlocked as a four star straight away and we have the trade values of her royal rampage leader trade and as you can see uh, it starts at level 4 because she's unlocked at epic and then we have the bonus extra damage percentage goes from 18 to 30 percent and this is the percentage to get charge points from 28 to 47 uh, really looking good i really like uh, princess looks really cool with the design we have to test her out she's definitely going to be more of a high level uh, gameplay character particularly for the new uh, uh, challenge that's coming up and we have also the distance nightmare mode okay so yeah this is the first sneak peek of update of 3.14 a special video for just princess you know we have to give some respect and uh, to, with the pink as well so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video it's princess it's coming up and uh, yeah i'll see you guys on my next sneak peek video